Hey guys, it's Chris and welcome to my YouTube channel. Thanks to all my subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button and subscribe to get my latest uh, tips and tricks and how-to videos. Today we're going to be talking about Google Chromecast Ultra and your Google Home uh, app on your phone, your smartphone, okay? Some people like to use their TV as a display for photos and, you know, not necessarily watching TV all the time, but, you know, if you do have that, that party going on and, or in any event you want to show photos, well, I'm going to show you how to do it right now and right here. We're going to use my cell phone to show you step-by-step -step how you go through it, okay? And we are re recording the screen on my phone as we speak. Okay, so welcome to the Google Home app. And we're going to be showing you how to navigate the Google Home app to change the photos on a specific TV in a specific room, okay? Right now, we're looking at my home, which we call Waterfront. And you can control your home and different rooms and different devices. And through here, I have my devices broken up by rooms. And in particular, right now, we're in the living room. So I'm going to scroll on down to the living room. Okay. And I want to control the photos that are on the living room TV, which is my Samsung QLED here. So I'm going to click on living room. All right. Right now it's showing ambient. All right. Which is just several types of images it's getting from the cloud here. And we're doing this through our Google Chromecast Ultra, which is attached. So now I'm going to click on the top right here, I'm going to go to ambient mode settings. And you can see through here, I can change some settings. I can change Google Photos to use the Google Photos on my uh, display. So I can actually, you know, during an event, a party, I can show any photos that have been taken at that time pretty much live on a display or TV. Um, I can do art gallery, experimental. I could also show the weather on the TV. I can um, show device information and the device name and Wi-Fi network, personal data uh, regarding the photo, uh, portrait Google Photos, and I can change the slide show speed um, right in this app and controlling it under here. Right now, I'm actually going to go and select Google Photos because I want to be able to show uh, during, uh, say, a dinner or an event at my house on this specific TV certain um, Google Photos that I've taken. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to pick two different albums, okay? I'm going to pick this album and I'm going to pick this album. And I'm going to go back. And now it's going to show photos from this album, actually both albums, on my TV here. I can set the uh, slideshow speed to what I'd like, 5 seconds or 10 seconds. And you can tell by looking at my TV that it is now showing the living room TV and it's showing ambient and it's showing my photos, which, you know, the source is Google's, uh, Google Photos and my albums. And it's showing on the bottom right corner the uh, title of that album, as well as the temperature outside and the time. So again, this is a great resource uh, to use. And I can go ahead and control any TV or any device inside of my home, all right? that has a Google uh, Chromecast Ultra or Google Chromecast, um, anything that falls under, you know, the Google Home here. So it has a display. So for example, my master bedroom, I can do the same. I can also do it for my office, which has an office TV, anywhere I have the uh, display. And for example, in my kitchen, I have the kitchen display, which is a, you know, Google um, enabled smart device. And I can show um, basically any type of uh, photo uh, from my Google Photos. All right, so if you have any questions, um, please ask. This works very easily in any home, and it, it's very versatile in that, you know, you can actually use this in many different settings, whether it's at home, whether it's at an event, and you want people to contribute photos to a shared Google Photo album, and you want to display them at that time on a display screen or a projector so it's great for that all right any questions let me know thank you for subscribing and uh please continue to share my videos and thanks